everybody. Welcome back to Sonic Hit Plays Adam RPG. I believe this is episode 32. I don't always check it before I start. I'm real sorry. As always, thank you to all those people who've been commenting, helping me out on our journey here to uh, the end of the game. You know who you are. Dragon Stra- Oh, me. The Do we have anything that we actually need to sell? <gasps> I got the hiccups. There's even a cave. $9.91, we'll pay that difference. We'll go ahead and pay that difference. That brings us to $21,000. we have already made our money back since we bought that AK, if you all remember that. I really should have stolen those first. I mean, I got them, so in the end, it doesn't actually matter. Uh, yeah, we'll take those or not. We'll take this guy. We'll take double coffees. Okay. Hopefully there's not a bear in this cave. As long as there's just not a bear in the cave. Everything looks to be in order here as far as bears go. I don't see any weird creatures. I don't see any leshes. I don't see any gorillas, any bears. Thank you, by the way, for that... Uh, Oh, we need wire. We need to remember that. Scrap metal and wire. Okay, so RL Dragon Strider was telling me about the uh, the Leshes. They also exist in uh, The Witcher. That's a popular game that has the Leshes. And I know that because I'm actually reading the books, but I had no idea that that was a Lesher. Before we go down there, one thing that I had gotten a comment on, someone told me Forrest Kobold says that in Paragon, there's a blind woman that I should trade with. Uh, we're just gonna leave. We don't care about the junk scavengers. And they said, quote, I bet you'll like it. Now that has me very interested. So before we leave, we are gonna go check out who this random blind lady is. And I think we're gonna wait till it's daytime. We're not hungry, but we may as well eat because I know I will be hungry shortly. We don't have anything to eat. Let's go get a pass. We always need a pass. Hello. I need a pass. One ticket, please. Thank you. Goodbye. Now, it's not this woman. Yeah, she's not going to talk to us anymore. Um, I think the woman is in town. Is in the actual, like, this part of town. Let me read the comment one more time. The comment says, Hey Sonicet, look for a woman in camp in Paragon. Her name is Zoya Koraleva, a blind woman. Trade with her. I bet you'll like it. And that's why I'm so immensely interested. A blind woman. None of those people look like blind women. And there aren't that many other people here. There's this guy. Do you, do you trade for anything? Oh, he's the stalker guy. Right. This is the camp. And I assume a blind woman is not really going to be walking around much. Um, none of... Oh, wait. This could be a blind woman. A neatly dressed woman in glasses is looking at a modern crossword puzzle. Okay. Probably not blind if she's doing a crossword puzzle. No, I don't. Um, that's a guy. That's the end of the stage. Let's just do a quick look over this way. Trying to see. I don't see any blind women. Let's just go under this just to be sure that we checked it. Because I can't really see under it, to be honest, until our character gets under it. Actually, no. I've officially seen everything under there. I don't need to see it. Uh, okay. Let's go in here, I guess. Are you a blind woman? No, that's Fyodor Maximovich. Do you have any work for me while I'm here? A traveler and a seeker of high adventure. So basically someone who'd be glad to join a cause in, big or small, you know, maybe you really could help us here. I'm ready for the details. 
He thinks for some time, a large wrinkle on his forehead becomes more and more visible. Finally, he claps his hands. I got it. Listen, thing is, Paragon isn't doing as well as it could be. The reason? Why, the bickering between the merchants and their guards, of course. I swear, they sometimes don't even need reasons to start fights. Although it didn't turn into an open conflict as of now, all the wonders of an open civil war are expected to pop out really soon. Shooting in the streets, murder, and all that stuff, a very scary possibility. So what do you need from me? We need to reach common ground. Traders and guards both need a neutral third party to judge their conflicts. This may seem like I'm full of myself, but it's actually true. I am the best man for such a job. Without me, things will end up in bloodshed. There is a problem, though. Leaders of both parties hate and fear everyone around them so much they basically lock themselves in their quarters. It'll be kind of hard getting to them, and no one in Paragon wants to risk it. But you, an avid adventurer, could try at least. Um, what if you... What would you say if I, for example, killed them all in the process of inspiring them? Would that affect your plan? Very much so. Taking over their roles would be a handful. Don't get me wrong, I understand the risk, but what else can I do? It's all or nothing. Um... Seems like a double cross, even if it's not. No. I'm not sure they would enjoy such a surprise, so to speak, but we are all proletarians, and we have nothing to lose but our chains, so where do I look for them? Good show. They're both right here in Paragon. The head guard, Nikolai Siplovsky, sits in my former room, um, in the Soyuz Rechflot building, and the head merchant, Lyonya Abramov, is in the whole of this very ship. They'll struggle at first, but persuade them. Okay. <clears throat> I don't want to do that right this second. That is not my goal here. Is there a door? Can I get in there? Oh no, that's... Oh, maybe I can. Maybe I can just walk by this lady. You're not a blind woman. You look like you're looking at stuff, so you're probably also not a... No? Is this a joke? Here's the thing. Uh... What are you, what, what's going on? What are you doing? What do you need the papers for? What kind of question is that? I'm sorry, but what do you care? Here's the thing. I'm looking for a job. Maybe you need some help? The man takes off his glasses, blows on them, and wipes his lenses with his shirt. He puts the glasses back on. He stares at your face with scrutiny and then nods. I do indeed, indeed have a small job. Perhaps you could uh, help me deal with a particularly complex paperwork problem. Tell me, are you any good with logistics? Let's try and see. That's unfortunate. This paperwork turns out to be quite difficult to get your head around. You take your time thinking over the contents of the papers, and finally you helplessly spread your arms and hand the documents back to the man. Huh. Well, yeah, I can't do anything about that. I don't think I can up my intelligence. If this were Fallout, I would just do Mintats, you know. But it's not. Uh, let's go talk to the guard, because we're here anyway. Oh, who's this? A tall, muscular blonde of around 30 quickly nods in your direction, not letting a huge city out of her teeth. The first time we met, you spoke of mercenary work. What do you want? Go away. I'll spit on you then. Farewell. Okay. Um, hey, you. Um, I have things that I need to tell him. What's your reason? I'm from Fyodor Maximovich. We have something to talk about. Well, if you're from him, it must be really important. Go on, tell me what he wants, and I'll tell the boss. I was asked to speak with him privately. I don't know about that, but on my orders, nobody gets in. You don't want to know that stuff. Oh, so you're also planning to become the leader around here? Why would you say such a thing? Well, you seem to be awfully interested in information only your boss is supposed to get. Strange that. The old man grows pale because of your suspicion-filled words. Why, I, who, who do you think I am? The old man rubs the bridge of his nose and waves. Go on, get into Leonia's quarters. No shenanigans, talk to him all, uh, talk to him like you wanted all along. No reason to make me the fall guy here, especially with those kinds of suspicions. Yeah, that would have been easier if you had just done that from the start, you dummy. You carefully step into the main trader's quarters. He's busy with some documents, but as you come in, he looks at you for a bit before asking, what business have you with me? Uh, try to just kill him. Well, Fyodor Maximovic sent me here to deal with you. He lifts his, gla his gaze to your face and straightens out his back. Deal about what? Well. It doesn't seem like any of these options are right. He wants you to leave your post and give him full control of the trade? No, he wants to be the third party. 
He wants to take care of you as well as the head guard permanently. He wants to enforce the rule. He wants to enforce the rule in Paragon. It's pretty shaky as of now. Yeah, this is the one. He wants to enforce the rule. He takes off his glasses and starts rubbing them with a handkerchief he got out of his pocket. He thinks straight. I'd say I agree with a lot of what he says. The traitor suddenly smashes his fist on the table. It's so sudden you jump a bit. He can go fuck himself for all I care. The old fool wants to enforce his will on me. The only will he needs to produce is his final will. God damn it, I'm surrounded by bastards. Why, I would... As quickly as he turned to rage moments ago, Abramov calms down and sighs, continuing to clean his glasses. Now here's a swell offer for you. Kill old man Maximovic and Sipolov, the head of the guard, with him. I'll give you 1500 for each one. Good, man, uh, good money that you can use wisely. <clears throat> you should try to deal with Maximovich first. What's there to talk about? Choke the life out of him and that'll be it. Use your brain for once. Someone needs to oversee the arguments people have here in Paragon. You can't push them away. Either one of you does it or your neighbors will. Leonla Abramov gives your words some thought. Seems like your persuasion technique worked a small wonder. That's true. I became too emotionally invested. Fine. If Maximovic won't mess up my deals, he'll even be helpful. You know what? It won't hurt to delegate him some of my work. Good choice, my friend. Because I was about to murder you. Don't mind me getting into your, your desk here. Don't mind me standing so close to you. Do you have anything useful in here at all? I finally got in here and I was really hoping for something more than literally nothing. Well, he's gonna see if I try to take any of that stuff. Uh, so there's the guard. There's the guy who runs the dog fights. I, I don't see this person. I don't know who this person is supposed to be. Maybe it's in another place in, in Paragon that I just am missing. <clears throat> but I guess while we're here, we'll go talk to the other person, because we already finished one part of the quest. By the way, not that I really meant to. We're supposed to be go we're supposed to be going and taking the pieces of the shield. <clears throat> Let's see, is there a person maybe I'll just talk to each of these people just to be sure. Oh, but I guess there's still a lot of other places that a person could be. But I mean, they said Camp Paragon. I just, I would feel like this is what you meant. <clears throat> Rusty guns, a brass knuckle thing. What is this? Did I trade him this or is this new? Um, <clears throat> we're gonna, we're gonna buy all this because I don't know what it's supposed to be for. 238, I don't want to bother sorting through my companion's equipment stuff. I'm just gonna pay him the money. What is what is this? Survival instructions 23. Um, I do believe that these oh no, a quality zip gun. Militiaman Anna skins versus radiation poisoning. <clears throat> Again, you guys can always read these. I invite you to. I typically don't. Survival Instructions 24. Pneumatic Panic. Right, that's a recipe for something that we already have. <clears throat> right, and these are also... Just another thing for a recipe we already have. Hey, can I sell these back to you? At a fraction of the cost? I don't need them anymore. I read them. Um, so we did get a recipe. A quality zip gun. Quality zip gun. Oh, wait, we have Percussion Re Revolver Plus? I didn't know we had that. What? When did that get here? We need... Oh, uh, so we broke our Percussion Re Revolver quite a while ago anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Carry on, right? That's the Stalker. I keep accidentally clicking on him. What about you? 
You don't seem blind. Want to exchange experience? I almost never drink, and I don't really spend time with the ladies, so when a caravan stops somewhere, I'd, I don't run to the nearest pub. Instead, I try to learn something from the locals. What do you want to try to learn from me? You don't have to teach me. I already learned a neat trick from uh, your parts. An old man fishing near a Trodnoy village showed me how to dismember mutated insects properly. You should totally meet him, too. I can show you some interesting stuff as well. For example, I can teach you how they mask the tents in the steppe or how they clean guns in Kalingrad or how the Polacks fight with their Polish knives. Tell me about knife fighting. Great pick, buddy. The man starts gladly describing to you the brutal knife-toting bandits of the Rzezczyk clan he met while in Poland. After the story and some demonstrations, you feel like you've gained a bit of new knowledge. What a story. Um. Okay, well. You gained five points in melee. That was free. I like it. I want to ask you some questions. No, it's not him either. I can't even trade with him. And that's everyone in the camp. Okay, you know what I think I'm going to do so I don't waste any more of your guys' time this episode? I'm going to canvas this entire area. And I'm going to cut it out until and or if I find this woman that I'm looking for. I'll be right back. Okay, so I looked all around the town. I cannot find it. I cannot find this blind woman that supposedly lives here. I have no idea if I just somehow really missed something or what's going on. But I, for the life of me, cannot find anyone that fits even remotely that description. So we're going to trade because uh, we found a trader here. Get a decent amount of money. And uh, a couple different bullets that we can take. There we go. That's a good trade. That's a good freaking trade. Okay. Uh, let's go talk to these guys because I do believe they were like a kind of a different quest. Nervously looks around. A smiling man with a short black beard is leisurely walking around Paragon whistling a tune that's unknown to you. When he spots you... He offers his hand and slaps you on the shoulder and asks, Hey, buddy, can I congratulate you with a happy and productive day? Sure I can. Look at you. You're a natural-born marketing specialist, a player on the international market. But you know what? The man unceremoniously grabs you by the shoulders and moves his face too close to yours. You're almost touching noses. Even those who are on top sometimes need good advice. What advice, Shared, if you so wish? The man gives you a quick once-over, thinks about something, and smiles. First of all, it's this. Use your time. Don't let it use you. In serious business, even sleep may come as constructive as long as you only sleep three to four hours while the market's closed. Those who sleep during the day lose their PS. PS means potential sales. It's a word from the language of the rich. Using this language is also very important since it has shorter words. Words mean word, by the way. See, this pronunciation makes you say one sound less. Now, that's what I call saving time. Um, any, any more advice? The man smiles and rubs your shoulder. You got all that, huh? Great. The next important thing is active rest. If you spend your rest time drinking, you'll lose it. But if you spend it by reading a good old book, Marx Capital, for example, the rest the rest time will serve your goals. Wow, any more advice? Sure. The most important one of all, always keep yourself busy. Sell yourself. See, well, we're not currently talking. We're actually haggling. I sell you my business ideas, my advice, my ways of thinking. You sell me your attention and your 30 rubles. What do you say, colleague? Or using the language of the rich. Want to seal this PS, Krumrud? Sure. Yeah, take it. The man takes your money, crumples in his hand, pushes it to his lips, and starts sniffing and crying. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. I mean, I got a little bit of EXP. Whatever. It's weird, but... It's weird, but fine. Let's go talk to this gentleman. The head guard. I have a message for your chief. Really? What, what so is it? It's from Leona Abramov and it concerns trade. No people of Abramov are allowed. You better go back to him empty-handed. What if I pay you? Seems like you really need to get to him. Okay, you give me 600 rubles, I'll let you pass. How do I know what your intentions are? Maybe you'll shoot the guy. I need a safety pillow in case I lose my job. Fine. Take it. 
Now you're welcome inside. Careful, though. Simply, the head of us guards is quite the bastard. Well, okay. I appreciate it, but I'm going. Let's go have a discussion. You come into the room and suddenly hear a tall tale click. When you turn around, you see a mustache man in a cap who aims a gun at you. Hello, hello, and who might you be? Why are you here? Speak up, or I may as well shoot. The man juts his gun forward and closes one eye as if to take better aim at you. Try to silently disarm the man. Success! You jump towards the table to shorten the distance between you two. With a fast punch, you hit the pistol out of the man's hand and tackle him to the ground. A few seconds, you are fighting Siplovsky, but he doesn't seem ready to give up. Still, Fidel suddenly joins you. Your powers combine to tackle the desperately struggling man. No, I don't want to kill him. Choke him. Oh, no. This is not what I wanted at all. This is not even a little bit what I wanted. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's dead. Quest log updated. Oh my god, he fucking murdered me. Let's try this one again without all the violence. I'm here with some important stuff. What sorts of stuff? Ah, that's all I had to do. Get out with it. Fyodor Maximovich sent me to deal with you. He twirls his mustache and sits back in his chair. The old devil, ha <laughs> ha. Always wanted to share his stupid opinions on things. Wants to return to the glories of his youth, probably, fucking activist. The head of the guard looks at you with a sly grin, almost like linen at one point. Listen, how about a counter proposal, hmm? How would you like that? Sure. Don't make it so hard on yourself. I'm here for one simple reason. Hold on. Simplicity is not always virtuous. I have a far better proposal for you. Instead of being so hasty, better listen to what I have to say than make the final decision. Okay, so here's how it is. Head merchant Lyonya Abramov fucking pisses me off. First, he doesn't like this. After that, he doesn't like something else. A scandal spoke. He needs to be, how should I put it lightly, murdered. And since Fyodor Maximovich will bitch about it, we need to send him off as well. Mark my word, the old man deserves rest of a permanent variety. I'll pay for those two billy goats more than anyone else has ever offered you for such a job. Abramov is greedy. Maximovich is a bum. Only I am where the true money's at. How's about it? You need to settle your differences, dude. I'm not talking about anything. In the army, we have it simple. There's an order and you better obey. Attention, the head guard waves his hand about in a gesture and you notice some typical prison tattoos on his arm. A setting sun and the words thug life. If you won't reach a consensus, your neighbors will use your weaknesses to take over. The falling shall be pushed. Nikolai Siplovsky thinks about this for a while. Seems your words have managed to convince him. Meh, you're right, I guess. Someone needs to show some sense. Why not me, damn it? Just tell Fyodor Maximovich that I agree. That was so much easier than murdering all of the guards. I like that approach much more. Okay, before I do that, I'm just gonna save here. Unlock it. What? Well, that's a rip. He just had a bunch of cologne and a bunch of vodka. I don't, I don't care about any of that. Oh, we need all this stuff. Would you be mad if I took this? How would you feel? How did you even see that? I'm going to be honest with you. Hold on. Hold on. That doesn't make any sense. He wasn't even looking at me. What? Wait, wait, wait. What? I just loaded and this popped up. I found this interesting list of names in a barbecue joint nearby. It had your name in it as well. The head guard looks at you for a long time until he coughs and pushes his cap to one side of his head. What kind of a list do you have it on here? Oh. This guy was doing things in the dungeon. I think that actually means this man has to die. You bitch, what do you want? If you want to kill me, just know I'll scream my lungs out. Just wanted to see your reaction, you disgusting piece of shit. This guy was on the list.
I've changed my opinion about murdering him. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, we can't let this stand, obviously. 21 crit. Damn, that did so much fucking damage. Oh, I'm gonna die maybe, if unless I get out of here. But I can't get out of here. Because my guys behind me are blocking my path. Let me just move back. God, you guys are right in the way. Can I shut the door? Shut the door. Can't shut the door. Hopefully his buddies now shoot him in the back. Yeah, no, that's fine. Oh, they killed him. Oh God, can you guys not shoot like right next to me? Okay, we're gonna save. I shot. He's still alive. He's dead. Ow. This could very well be the death of me. Okay, so far so good. Let's get over here. Again, I would use my gun, but 28 crit. I'll take it. Shoot him. Yep. Oh, that's gonna, that's very bad news for you. Just the worst news for you that ever could have happened. I'm gonna stand over here. So you have to come in here or, or I mean, you're, you're super dead. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Free stuff. So I wasn't gonna kill him. I was just gonna let him go. But once he started, once I realized that he was on that list, and you guys know what that list was. It was, it, that's not okay anymore. Not okay anymore. He unfortunately needed to be dealt with. Oh, they were using armor piercing rounds, that's why. That's why we took so much damage. Hold on. Let's just make sure that none of these are loaded. Not gonna give him any loaded weapons. We've learned our lesson doing that. Uh, did we already loot him? Yeah, we did. So let's loot this guy now. Get a police cap. We'll take a police cap. Uh, now we can get into his desk. Locked. Okay, well... What could possibly be in here that's so worth it? What is it? Pickle juice and two glass. That ain't it. That does not qualify for being worth it at all. But all these supplies are useful. All right, so we got a bunch of EXP from that. Um, hey, how are you feeling about... Okay, obviously not very well. No one else out here is mad. Oh, is the whole town mad? Hold on. Did I, am I about to go to war with the entire town of Paragon? Is that what's happening here? That's not possible, right? Like that, that just, that would be so incredibly unfair. That would mean that if you get in the fight with them, you have to kill the entire town of Paragon, but that's a story. There are other people moving. This is not even remotely fair. What am I supposed to do? Okay, well I died anyway because my teammate just shot me. But I... Yeah, the entire town. Uh, 
I, I'm real confused here. I need to go back. And I saved over my other save. Unfortunately. I can't go to war with the entire town of Paragon. We load this one. Where was this? Okay. Uh, apparently we have to go back. I'm not sure why that triggers the entire town to be angry at you when it's part of a, a quest dialogue. But I, I, that, that's, I really don't like that. I'm, I'm gonna, just gonna level with you here. I hate it actually. Um, because it's, it's a, it's a number of reasons why. Let me go catch up back to where I was. It would be one thing if you just killed him and it was just him. But it's not. It's the entire town. So what am I supposed to do? So how did I trigger that other thing? Did I just like walk back in? Okay. I found an interesting list of names. What do you want? If you want to kill me now, just now I'll scream my lungs out. But we can't... Is there any way we could just secretly kill this guy? Just give me the paper. Uh, no, I don't like that at all. This man needs to die. Like, that's, that's it. He has to die. Oh. Now we're just in a fight. So he started that fight, but again, everyone in this town is immediately angry. Is it just the guards? Is it just every single guard? What about the camp's people? Yeah, they all turned angry. Yeah, no, I'll just, I'll wait. Okay. We just killed all of those guards. Everyone here is instantly angry. That's not fair. That's not fair, game! You can't force me to do a decision like this and turn the entire town against me. I hate- I hate this. I hate it! Is there any way to silently kill this guy? Alright, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna leave. There's nothing I can do. Okay. Now we did that. So here's my big problem with it, right? The game gives you a quest. Hey! Go deal with both of these guys, and they both want you to kill the other one, right? And so the problem is, if you had just decided to kill one or the other of them, the town would just immediately revolt against you. So that's not even an option. So I don't know if this quest is just broken, and that it shouldn't be triggering a flag where the entire town is mad at you. Um, but that's not okay. It's, it's just not okay. I could murder the whole town. Like, I, I guess. But I, I really don't want to do that. And so I'm, I'm just not sure. I, I'm really just not sure of what's. Oh, I need to go talk to Fyodor Maximovic. Damn it. About the political bickering. Both the head merchant and the head guard saw the light of reason. This is the best way to solve our situation. You should be thanked for it. What do you think to do now? Well, now all I have to do is go tell all the authorities that I'm going to become the judge between the factions. I hope that the people will take the news without arguments. You do that. I do need to go back to Krasno. Where's this guy gonna go? Okay. Now I will lead this parade. What do you mean? Paragon? Precisely. Finally. Now I am... Yes, I am now the ruler. Well, that's not... Good luck on the old post.
Thanks. Now I will go learn more. Show them, Fyodor Maximovic. This translation is not very good. Let's talk when I will return. Okay. I really don't want to talk to you anymore. I'll be back later. We were supposed to go to Krasno. I'm going to have to cut out everything of me walking to Krasno just so we can get there and get our next quest. That was such a huge bummer. Why would they give you the option to kill someone if it's part of a quest, but it turns the entire town against you and you have to murder everyone? The only thing that I can really think of, honestly, is that it really was just, it's just a bug. I don't know why I met these scavengers. I have nothing to sell. It must just be a bug. We don't need anything at the abandoned factory, but we could dynamite open that area that we had heard about quite a few times. Ooh, cultists. Not, oh, we are in combat. Oh, they're coming up from the back. They're coming up from the rear. There's a lot of these guys. Damn, that's a lot of damage. I don't really know who the best targets are to go for first. I'm not too worried about those guys because they have pistols. So I'm gonna take all, take the blunt of the damage here. Oh, jam, that's not a good strategy. Oh, and my guy's just dodged it. He just, he just sidestepped. I don't like how you guys are shooting over me right now. Um, I don't want this guy to get a turn. Let's see if I can just one shot him. Just one shot him. All right, I mean, that saved me the bullet, so actually I'm okay with that. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I'm standing right in front of this guy. That's not good. That's not good, my teammates. Yeah, yeah, I kinda, kinda thought that was gonna happen. That's my own fault, honestly. That's all on me. I'm gonna move to the side now so you guys quit shooting me. They just sidestepped it. Can you guys? Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's get here. We'll save. We'll do a stabbed and aim stab. Eyeballs. 21 crit in the eye. You can't be feeling very good. Ow. That fucking hurt. A lot. All right. Well, you've earned yourself a quick trip to the grave. Goodbye. Oh, he's still alive. That's not good. Let's try that one maybe one more time. Ooh. Yeah, he keeps doing a lot better than I do. Come on, we can get him. We can do it. There we go. That's so much better. Oh, you missed? Come on, dude. No dynamite. No dynamite. Good. I was honestly very worried about a dynamite kind of a situation happening there. Um, these are honestly garbage. And I'm not going to pick them up. Uh, I really need to heal. That guy fucked me up. Uh, we're gonna do this really quickly. We have tons of space, so honestly, I can take everything that these people have. Even though a lot of it's gonna be worth basically nothing. Perfect. We looted basically everything they had. And we got everyone back up to basically full, except for myself. Um, but that's fine, I can make camp. And we got a ton of EXP. Why don't we go ahead and make camp now? It'll take two seconds. Roast meat, roast meat, roast meat, leave. 67, not quite. Roast meat. That's all the roast meat we have. 67. Oh, do we not have any more buffs? We must not. 
Uh, yeah, those extra buffs, the, 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 the condensed milk and the boiling tea and stuff, that makes a big difference. So right now we, yeah, we're like 522 points away. I mean, we're going to walk right by it. We could just go blow it up and check what's in it. Nope. If there is a reason that you would want to meet those guys, please let me know. But I think in the future, I'm just going to skip them because they've never had anything that has ever been useful to me. I'm going to cut right to where we blow it up. Okay, so here we are. So supposedly... Supposedly, we can blow this up. Let's see. Oh, look at that. We're in. Oh, there's a dead guy. Oh, he had some useful stuff. This was so worth it. Incredibly worth it. Immediately worth it. Okay, well, that's empty. How do you... You have to blow up the barrel, too? I mean, I can't even interact with this, so I'm assuming no. Okay, we're gonna cut to uh, us leaving now. Is there an exit over here? Yeah, there sure is. So now that that's done, we are gonna continue on our way down to Krasno to go give him that shield. It's gonna be a long walk. I'm still mad about Paragon. I still... Really just want to kill that guy. Ambushed by bandits. Talk your way out. I've never been successful at one of those, I don't think. Oh, look at that. It's a campfire, like right there. Um. Oh, shit. At least I made tea before the battle started. Bandits, huh? Can you guys both go after the same guy? He would just be so much better. Ow. Oh, the rifle. I hate the... Oh, missed. I still need to give him a helmet. Oh, I could just take one of the helmets from these guys who I'm about to murder. Yeah, that was... That was just not a real good idea on that guy's part. Let's save. First fire from here. I'll take it. Oh, jammed. Oh, wait, I need one of, I just need one of them to hit this guy once, honestly. Ow. I took 32 damage. That's unacceptable. I don't want to have to use a stim pack. I have an idea. I'm just gonna hide behind him. You're fine, right? I've taken bullets for you my whole life. You can take a couple for me. Oh, look at that, he has a frying pan out. You should be really good at handling this. Way to go, team. I like how they reloaded their guns in unison. Okay, one of you guys has meat still. Yeah, I'm basically gonna make all of it right now because I'm almost dead because that, that guy hurt. It was like 32 damage. Take that, take the bullets. There's a helmet. I'm really surprised that I'm not over encumbered yet. I must be right at the very edge of it. 65 out of 56. I mean, like, true over-encumbrance where I can't move at all is what I meant. Finally hit it. Uh, Hexogen? You have, you have 71 out of... Yeah. 74 out of 77. You could probably... All right, you need that anyway. Give me back this. All right, so now we just have some stuff to trade off to traders when we find them. And we are... We must be, like, right... Yeah, one more battle. One single extra battle. We will we'll have it. We are at 65 out of 56. We're just gonna have to find a trader. 
That fight went really well. Um, also, reload. That's important. That would have been unfortunate to get into the next fight and have to immediately pay two to reload. All right, let's continue on our journey, boys. Got the helmet replaced. Making our way downtown. Faces past. I'm walking fast. We're Kraz no bound. Let's just try to stay on the road, if at all possible. This was supposed to be an easy episode. This was... Oh, we talked our way out. Look at that. We got EXP for talking our way out. Oh, we need like 86 EXP. If I just stole a bunch of stuff at this point, we'd probably get our level. Come on, just give me... I don't want slavers. Oh, but I hate slavers. Not thrilled about this. Oh, you want to come right on up. 30 damage right away. One down. Guess I'll just reload. Yeah, he's not feeling great. Neither am I. Jesus, this guy. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stim pack up. We're gonna go for this, this fucking guy right here. I'm assuming you guys can handle the rest. Zero damage. Oh, you bitch. Okay, I can only move two spots. I can burst fire him from here. 13%. Is it because I'm encumbered? That is so unfortunate. Hey, check this out. Guys, just kill him. Because this is going to be real hard for me. So here's what I'll do. I'm going to walk up behind him. Pass my turn. Oh, he's not doing well. Oh, and I walked all the way over here. They weren't supposed to do that well. 20? Jesus Christ, calm down on attacking. Don't you dare kill that man. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna save and I'm gonna move over here so they hit me instead. Oh, he used a stimulant, good. Y'all are boned. Not only. Wow, he lived that. Ow. Not only are you guys slave hunters, so automatically you guys suck. But in addition, you guys are getting rampaged by the friendly fire bandits. How does that feel? We haven't even shot each other one time this game. Actually, no. I mean, this round, because I did die when one of my teammates did shoot me, like, directly in the head. Oh, I don't have enough anyway, so let me move around. That way he doesn't shoot me in the back, as he, you know, likes to so often. Perfect. Ba-boom! I guess at this point, my timer is so far over, we're just going to have to do the next episode will be, um, the next episode will be when we do all of the Krasno stuff, because I just, I, I just am not going to have the time. We're going to loot all this stuff. He's not going to be able to carry anything. Trade me one good one for one not good one. I really don't need any more Casperamid. I, I need 0% more Casperamid. But we do need wires. Not gonna take the shotgun. This was the guy that just ran up with his axe out for some reason. 
Not really sure on the motivation on that one. You guys are free to go wherever you want. Oh, girl. You had an SKS. My friend. That is now my SKS. 75 out of 77. Perfect. I'm going to drop those because I don't need them. We're going to handle our level. Oh, I'm still encumbered. Can I give you anything? 68 out of 70. Perfect. One can of coffee is all it took. Okay. Let's do our level and then we'll wrap up. Uh, let's find the exit as well so we can just be here when we're ready to leave. Damn. That was a lot of stim packs. A lot of everything, honestly. But hey, that's like seven less slave traders in my game world, and I'm okay with that. Come on, if you could just walk a little bit faster. Please. Okay, so let's go ahead and save. We'll save here as well. What were we doing? I think we were upping rifles and shotguns. We were trying to be able to use a rifle or a shotgun. We even, I think... Right, it's gonna be another two before we can get that. So we have 74 in rifles and shotguns right now, which means we can almost just use... We can almost use that SKS ourselves. Let's check. The Dragnov requires 80 in rifles and seven strength. We don't have the seven strength, so that's kind of out of the question a little bit. This is six strength. We can already use that one. This is 75 and six strength. Yeah, a little bit harder than I thought. This uses five, four, five rounds. I do think we could probably get away with doing it, although, um, to be honest, I wouldn't, let me give him like 75 rounds. So if I was to use this, I need to be unencumbered. Perfect. So our skill right now is 74, which is like 20 points under our pistols. But if we got great shots all the time, what does this cost? See, aim shot is 6 AP. Interesting. We'll have to try it out. It, we may still be too low to really do anything useful with it, but we'll try. Um, and this uses an ammo type that we have a lot of, which is great. And we have a lot more stuff to sell. Perfect. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. This was episode 32, Sonic Cat Plays Adam RPG. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. As always, I love hearing from you guys. And until next time, burn bright, everybody.